You know, I've been busy. Um, this is the standard tool post uh, tool holder that comes with the uh, 7x10 mini lathe from Harbor Freight. And it works, but it's kind of a pain in the butt having to shim everything. I'm using an old set of feeler gauges, which, you know, they do the job, but swapping tools out is kind of a pain. So what I've, um, I thought about buying one, and um, the one that I want, I want a plunger type AXO, which will fit this okay, but that will cost me about $100, $120 shipped, and I really don't have that right now, at least not for this. And, um, well, I guess you can kind of guess where I'm going with that. I decided to make myself a simple little quick change tool post. So I machined this out of a piece of steel my son found. Um, I think it's about an inch and three quarters in diameter to start with. And I, I turned the, the shaft down to an inch, and I think this is a little bit more than an inch and three quarters for the, for the foot. And, um using my new little carbide um, index tools I got from Harbor Freight. I turn this and you know overall I'm, I'm kinda happy with it. Um, so I find myself using this more than anything else. Here are a couple of tool holders I've made for it. This is the first one I made for it. It's a bit thicker than I needed. So my next designs will be a lot thinner, but basically I've I've been casting cylindrical ingots, and they've just been piling up, and I'm just making making a bunch of cylinders for no purpose, and I figured I'd start using them. So here's uh, my first generation of the first try, and what I think I may end up doing is milling off these rounded bits and making a square end on each side so that I have a little bit more clearance here. Um, my next um, one I made, I made this about, uh, about three, three or four days ago. I made this one the night. This is a little ring I found. Um, basically, I cut this out of a, with a hole saw. I was making a belt drive plate, and I needed to cut this bit out right here. So I used a hole saw, cut that out, because I have no way to chuck that up on my lathe, and there's no way that there's just not enough swing. And I didn't want to pay to have that machined, and then I quit, can't really bore it because I'll chew up my plastic gears, so it kind of leaves me with only the hole saw option. So I ended up with a couple of discs because I had to cut two holes, one for the motor mount side and one for the spindle mount side. And this, is, I think, was the spindle mount side. And um, this is a little thicker. And I, I just saw that, and I was like, well, maybe I can put the, my boring bar in there. Let's see if the width was proper. And I made sure not to... I didn't want that to be exactly on center because I needed a little bit of meat for the uh, set screw. And I only put one set screw in there because, to be perfectly honest, the um, I don't think the forces are going to be enough to where it's going to twist or bind that. So it just uh, slides on. And I've already got the tool height set with a, um, where's that bolt at? There it is. You can see that. I've already set that on center. I'm not going to put the boring bar in there right now, but you kind of get the idea. And uh, I use the existing. I'm probably going to replace this with something a little bit more personal, personalized. But this clamps beautifully. Um, used my homemade slitting saw, cut that. I used it. Let me show you my slitting saw. I don't think I've ever made a video of that either. There it is. And there's my slitting saw. I made this about six, seven months ago. Works nice. This pit bit here is um I was gonna drill and, and use um set screws to hold it on, but I pre I, I I bored it out well enough to where it just presses it pressed on and it hasn't moved. Like it don't think it will ever move. The top little cap here is uh, held on with a with a single allen screw and that's that's been secure i've used this for multiple things and haven't had a problem i bought these little blades here um i bought like a pack of three of them off of ebay used i think they cost me all of nine bucks shipped so 
I got nine bucks plus a screw and the oh yeah the shaft. Shaft came out of a um a transmission case that I melted down and I got three of these these beautiful hardened steel shafts that I use for all sorts of stuff. Well, I think my next boring bar is going to be made out of this because it does not flex. <clears throat> so my next boring bar holder is going to have to be a bit thicker to, to accommodate that. But uh, yeah, they work beautiful. I've um, had no problems with them. I saved myself about $125, though I did spend about five or six hours making them. So I got more time than I do money. And on top of that, it feels really good to make your own things. So, I figured I'd share that with you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it.